So I've been covering a lot of this whole console war thing that's going on on X, which whenever I hopped on X for the first time in like, I don't know, a couple of years uh, to actually join conversations, I thought that was dead, but apparently it's not. But anyways, uh, something crazy happens every time something bad happens on the PlayStation side or the Xbox side or if it's a PC or whatever. And usually what it goes down to is something minor. And this would be a outage on a certain console. Now, the other day, the PlayStation Network was down for a few hours. Uh, that means a lot of people could not connect on PSN for a very long time. I, mean, I think it was a five hours, not a very long time. But to gamers, that's a long time. And PlayStation actually has a history, a long history. If you guys remember during the PlayStation 3 days, there was a certain incident where the PSN was down for, I think it was a little over a month, and they had a lot of stuff that got leaked, especially personal information such as names, addresses, credit cards, and all that stuff. And it was pretty bad. It was a big old hack. And ultimately what happened was Sony kind of lost their... Um, credibility in terms of a PlayStation Network provider, which was fairly new, because PlayStation used to be free uh, to play online until Xbox came out and made a subscription, and PlayStation was like, oh, I can make money by making people pay online to play video games? Then Nintendo was like, hey, I want some of that too. And they all do this. They all do this. They uh, Pretty much every single one of these consoles, they have an online service that you pay for to play online. And Again, PlayStation had a problem several years ago, and the whole network was down. It was people that got their identification uh, basically stolen, and it was a big mess. And Sony came out, they apologized a month later, um, and gave us free games. Now, that's pretty crazy, right? I was there for that. I've seen that all happen. I got my free games that I already owned in the first place because I buy pretty much everything Um but the other day, there was a PlayStation Network outage, and it lasted for, I think it was about five hours. And I think it was only the United States. I'm not completely sure. I didn't really care enough to see it. But there was a lot of people that started arguing. And I'll actually show you right here. So in terms of lunacy, it all spiraled from this specific post here. And basically what happened, they were just talking about the whole thing where whose console was better and loads faster because there was that whole debacle where... Some games run better on PlayStation, then there's some games that run better on Xbox, which really doesn't fucking matter, because they all usually run better on PC anyways. But anyways, one of the first comments right here says, A, is an Xbox service down at the moment? And it was. It was. It actually was. They're not wrong. They're not wrong with that. But the thing was, what was really weird, was a bunch of PlayStation fanboys started dogpiling after I posted this. So I said, wasn't PSN down yesterday? Then, <laughs> it, it, it gets wild, it gets really wild. So you, you start seeing stuff like this. They're basically uh, going down and they're comparing who had the worst, who had the worst uh, when it comes to outages, when the fact is both systems had outages but now, for some odd reason, the PlayStation fanboys are like, hey, my outage was better than your outage, which is the weirdest fucking flex I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, that's a really weird flex. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, my outage was better than your outage. That's so awesome and great. PlayStation rules, bruh. Xbox is poopy. And it's really funny to see these people do this because it doesn't matter what you say to these people. They'll come back and they'll be like, well, PlayStation's better. I can do this and that. Why, uh, your PlayStation's off. And actually, you could play games on your PlayStation single-player games uh, when it's offline. And a lot of the guys, the Sony guys, was like, oh, Xbox can't do that. But there is a way to set on an offline mode on the Xbox. This actually exists. There is an offline mode, especially if you have your console set as the primary console to play on. So when you go offline, you set it to offline mode, you can play your single-player games. Um, but for some odd reason, like... The PlayStation guy's like, nah, -uh, that's that's not good enough. That's not good enough. It just needs to work. Which, I was going to say this. It should. It should, I think, if there's going to be games on both systems that regularly require a sing uh, online connection, I think there should be 
a way to play these offline. And again, Ono Alex was talking about it. And I actually made a comment where I said, tell these guys about the live service games. And some guy came back, he's like, ha, you're just making fun of yourself. Those require online. It's like, well, no shit. You just kind of, you just kind of put yourself in the corner there, bud, because, you know, I mean, that's what PlayStation is heading towards. They even said it. Every time the CEO sneezes or CEOs, uh, they decide to change their focus from uh, live service games to single player. I, I, I don't know. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. And, you know, Alex was pointing out that Helldivers 2 needs an offline mode. I do agree. I believe every game that comes out, that especially a single player game, for sure, I don't know why the fuck that a single player game require needs to require online access it doesn't make sense to me and a lot of these uh, companies are pushing that and i don't know why um it's just something we don't want so whenever you know let's say fucking ubisoft or their assassin's creed games like hey we're going to shut down the service servers and stuff so you're not going to be able to play assassin's creed anymore even though you paid 130 or 140 dollars for this game that shit's not going to work anymore which is stupid, which is really stupid. We're seeing things like that happen now with like Forza and several other games where they're taking these games offline and you can no longer play them anymore, even if you spent a ton of money. And it's just wild to me that 2024, we don't have an option to play games offline um, for the most part, because the vast majority of games that's coming out these days are live service games. That's basically how it is. They have to have an internet connection. And it shouldn't be like that. It really shouldn't be like that. Um, but I don't, I don't understand the dichotomy when it comes to um, <laughs> when two consoles, especially billion-dollar companies that has networks that are dedicated for online play, if one goes out, the Xbox guys clap. If the other ones come out, the PlayStation guys clap. It all ends up being some big argument about whose was worse or whose is better. This has been a crazy thing that's going on for many, many years. You actually have actually decent-sized creators doing this whole console war thing. For billion-dollar companies, now, here's the thing. If you're getting paid to shill for a billion-dollar company, then, you know, that's one thing. But if you're getting online and pretty much worshipping a plastic box for a billion dollar company that doesn't give two shits about you, and quite possibly if they had a chance, if they knew if they could throw you into a meat grinder and get money for it and call it an online service, then they'll probably do that. It's, it's just fucking soup. It's really pointless to me to argue over this. Now, I know, I know, I used to be a part of this whole thing back in the PlayStation, the Xbox days, uh, 360 PS3. And it was fun. It was fun. But hopping back into it, seeing it, made me realize how retarded I actually looked back to today. And it's very embarrassing. It's very, very, very embarrassing. Like, I don't know why you dedicate your life to a billion-dollar company. It doesn't make sense. Like, you're basically uh, cheering on a company to make more money that you're not going to see because you're too busy spending $70 on games that require online access, and you can't access them when these networks go down doesn't make a lot of sense right i just i just don't see i don't see why this kind of argument is beneficial to anybody it just doesn't make sense i mean there's more crazy things going on in the world than the fact that we have to fight over who has the better plastic box like it doesn't matter at all whenever what does matter is the video games that come out and the worthless piece of shit corporations that put these crazy kind of practices in the first place it's not a good look, not a good look. And just chilling for these people just makes you look really sad. The sad thing about it, these are old dudes. These are like 30 or 40 year olds, but acting like school children, basically. And it's pretty funny. But anyways, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.